Welcome to the collection of metaphors for human-robot interaction. During this presentation, I will be unpacking assumptions that we have towards robots and using metaphors to create new realities for interacting with robots. I am Patricia and I will be presenting this work, which resulted from a multidisciplinary and international collaboration with scholars and artists. The word robot is generally associated with unrealistic expectations of utilitarian perfection. Mostly, we associate robots with tireless, efficient and flawless machines. Real-world robots are actually far from being perfect. They fail and make mistakes. As roboticists, we should consider altering our current assumptions of robots and cultivate new perspectives that account for a more complete perception of robots. To encourage this, we explore the use of metaphors for generating novel ideas and reframing existing problems. These illustrations have some of the ideas we generated, which I will be elaborating throughout this presentation. So let's go back and dive deeper into the assumptions we have towards robots. There are three main assumptions that we uncovered during this work. The first assumption is that we should develop robots only in utilitarian terms. This means that we are inclined to make robots into servants that over time become repetitive and boring. There are many long-term studies that illustrate this by showing that engagement with robots declines over time. The second assumption about robots is that they are perceived as entities with absolute knowledge and capabilities. This assumption might exist because of sci-fi culture, but the fact is that robots are limited. This leads to a misplaced trust in robots. As shown in previous work, in an emergency evacuation scenario, people follow a robot blindly even when the robot makes mistakes in providing directions. The third assumption is that robots are perfect. But robots do make mistakes, perhaps more than humans. For a lay user, this can be disappointing, and indeed there is a whole body of research that studies how robots should apologize for the mistakes they make. Given these problems, the field of human-robot interaction has started to adopt speculative and critical design approaches to break away from these assumptions. Robots have been created as needing entities to suggest codependence from humans. Domestication has been associated with robots to suggest a process of adaptation, which is similar to what happens with domesticated animals. The concept of citizenship has been applied in robotics to suggest ways to negotiate roles between humans and robots. Robots have also been proposed to be destroyed as a way to open a dialogue about a robot's life cycle. In our work, we use metaphors as a generative tool to break free from traditional assumptions and promote novel ideas about robots. For this, we conducted a workshop to elicit metaphors of robots that would allow for scenarios of change. We used the new metaphors toolkit, which is basically a set of 150 physical cards generally used in person. The set of cards is composed by two types of cards that combined can produce thousands of possible combinations. So we have cards that are purely textual and cards that contain an image. This combination of text and images helps to understand ideas that are hard to visualize or explain, such as how steps can be a metaphor for aging. As our workshop happened remotely, we adapted the new Metaphors Toolkit to a digital format that is now online and in open access. If you want to use it, you can find the link in our pictorial. We also adapted the cards to human-robot interaction scenarios to focus our discussions. Here is an example of a few metaphors generated during our workshop. To better understand how these metaphors can be translated in real scenarios between humans and robots, we illustrated and animated them. In this presentation, I am going to cover just a few illustrations that show how we can break away from robot assumptions using metaphors. The first assumptions that we challenged were about the robot's form and physicality. Robots suggested during our workshop differed from most robots in that they were not imagined as separate entities, but rather as part of the human body or human life. This image represents robots and smart devices entering our lives, building upon one another, creating systems, taking over. They create a network together that we depend upon that grows and expands, just like a tumor. When the word robot is used, people frequently imagine a human or an animal artifact. 
Ideas in our workshop challenged this perspective and suggested robots that look like a doorknob, a shadow, or even as a carnivorous plant, as you can see here. A carnivorous plant was used to illustrate the pleasure of using technologies and the guilt we feel by depending on them, just like what we feel when we eat too many sweets. The next set of assumptions is about the robot's role. In this case, we challenge the notion that robots have to be useful all the time. Many of the ideas in our workshop propose robots that are imperfect, need assistance, or perhaps even have undesirable qualities that make them more relatable. In this case, the robot is putting on makeup and beauty products as it's copying the human behavior, similar to what parrots do. Robots are primarily conceptualized as machines. Because of this, they are frequently designed as efficient tools, but robots can serve in roles that are not usually associated with machines. A robot could be a piece of clothing that is used for self-expression or to mediate the level of intimacy in a relationship. The last set of assumptions challenge some of the interaction behaviors that are common for robots. Another assumption we identified is that robots are perceived as independent entities that work on their own and that do not require any assistance, unless they need human supervision. Some ideas generated during our workshop challenge this assumption by suggesting robots to be vulnerable and in need of care. In this illustration, a robot can fix itself, but it leaves scars in the places that were broken. Most interaction with robots are somewhat predictable. During the workshop, we questioned, is this really the best option? Some ideas suggested randomness and improvisation, or even an inconsistent identity of robots. This illustration represents a mischievous drone leaving traces of paint in a public space. The human in the image thinks that it's the bird's action, as it would not expect the robot to be the one causing disruption. We also storyboarded some of the metaphors for real human-robot interaction scenarios to see how they could become feasible. We explored how robots as bridges could be applied to public spaces and communities. In this animated storyboard, you can see a robot as a bridge, being part of the architecture of a city. By changing the bridge shape, the robot influences how people flow and move around the city, creating spaces for making picnics, for romance, or even places for breakups. We also explored how robots could be applied in the home. We imagine that a robot can help us break away from our routines or behaviors that we want to change. But instead of being polite and thoughtful about this, we envision the robot that promotes change by misbehaving. In this scenario, the robot owner is workaholic and wants to decrease the number of working hours. The robot would move around and destroy the house when the maximum number of working hours was reached to make the owner stop working. With this work, we want to challenge the future design of robots. We have done so by proposing counterintuitive and parafictional ideas that support the human-robot interaction field to develop a critical mindset towards its own practice. We broaden the perspectives of robots by applying metaphors to break free from current assumptions. We hope that our work can inspire roboticists, designers, artists, linguists and engineers to develop new roles, interactive behaviors and physicalities for the robots of the future. Thank you so much for listening. We hope we have inspired your own ideas and views of robots next time you encounter one.